Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Rahim. Let's look at another property of uh, Fourier transform, and it's actually convolution property. Uh, convolution, basically, uh, the way I understood it, and this is how I remember it, is actually you're making multiple copies of the same signal. And this, as you can see, this is by definition. This is nothing; it's just the definition itself, where you're convolving two signals. Basically, you have the or signal, and you have the same multiple copies of that same signal in different time duration and this is the way you rewrite this so let's calculate the Fourier transform of this and let so before we start this let x of t x of t has a Fourier transform x of f right and let y of t has a Fourier transform of y of f then the Fourier transform of x of t convolve with y of t should be what? x of f multiply by y of f. Right? So I want to prove this. Uh, the reason I'm doing it, I'm saying this. If I have a function that is x of t, then definitely it has a Fourier transform of x of f. y of t has a Fourier transform of x of y. When two, when I'm taking a convolution of this and I'm taking a Fourier transform is, of this, it's just like taking multi, simply multiplying x of f times y of f. So let's prove it. So let's do a proof of this. Indeed, it is what it is. All right? So in order for me to make a proof of it, first I'm going to write my handy definition, Fourier transform of x of t y of t convolve with y of t it's actually so i'm going to use the definition of of convolution which is given so i'm just going to simply write the definition as tau goes from negative infinity to positive infinity x of tau y t minus tau d tau this is the function itself. And if you remember, the definition of Fourier transform is what? The definition of Fourier transform is given as is the function times it by e to the negative j 2 pi f of t dt. So x of t here is that function. And I'm going to multiply this whole thing. So this whole thing is going to be t as it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity whole thing e to the negative j 2 pi f of t dt so basically if you were to look at it this inside is actually the thing in parentheses this whole thing is actually x of t right and x of t is what x of t uh, convolving with y of t so this is just the definition we simply used so what we're going to do, we're going to change uh, change the order of integration. And how we're going to change it, we're going to make few replacement. All right? Integration. All right. This is the first thing I'm going to do. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to pick up my function, which, which, which I just did it here. And I'm going to take this tau out. Right? Because this is the only function that has tau in it. This thing is a combination of t minus tau. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some substitution here. And I'm going to take this x of t out. So this, I'm going to take this out to be tau. As it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, x of tau d tau. Since integration is a linear operator, I can take this out. This, this does not affect anything because this thing uh, 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 this thing is purely with respect to d tau. So this is out like this. Inside I left with t as it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Y t minus tau e to the negative j 2 pi f of t d t. Do I need to include e to the negative j uh, uh, e to the negative j 2 pi f t? No, here I don't need to. Why? Because this is a function with tau and for if I even use this, this is just nothing but a constant value. Alright? So let's make few substitution. Substitution. 
All right, I'm going to say t minus tau. I'm just going to call it some value u. dt would become du and t is actually u plus tau. All right, so I'm going to make some placement here. t minus tau is going to be u and dt would become du and t, if I were to solve it for t, this would become u plus tau. All right, once I do that, here's the thing. Here, here, what we will I will come up with tau as it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, x of tau d tau, right? This is just as is. My integration limit will change as u goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Y of u in place of this, I'm making this replacement. In place of this, I'm making this replacement. Then I have e to the negative j 2 pi f, all right? e to the negative j 2 pi f. Now, in place of this value t, I'm going to make this replacement. And that replacement is going to be tau plus u, all right? And this, and dt would be du. Can you all see this? We're doing, trying to prove convolution property. All right, so now if you were to look at it closely, if you were to look at it closely, look at this kernel. Whenever I can, I can split that kernel into two because I, I, I can now, whenever you have the basis same, what do you do? You add up powers. So I can split this kernel into two. I'll end up with, I hope you can see this, tau as it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, x of tau, right, so when I split this, right now it's a combination because, because the basis, because the basis were same, that's why you have these power which are being added up, but I can split that, now this would become e to the negative j, 2 by f tau d tau times 8 by u as it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity y of u e a negative j 2 pi f u and this is going to be du du so now when i when you look at it closely when you look at it closely i i'm going to i'm going to bring this here when you look at this thing closely this What does it look like to you? Isn't this the definition of, of, of a Fourier transform of something? So this is actually your y of f. Or in this case is y of u, it doesn't matter. And this is actually your x of f. So hence the proof is true that when you convolve two signals together, it's just like taking an individual Fourier transform of each of these signals. And just simply multiplying them. So this is how you actually prove uh, the convolution property of Fourier transform. So if you have any questions, uh, leave it in a comment section. Um, and, uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.